Hello viewers, uh, this is Dr. Rana and uh, today I am going to explain you a problem which is actually a fluid surface interaction based problem uh, in which uh, one elastic uh, solid surface is being considered uh, and the fluid is flowing which is actually considered uh, uh, in the channel and uh, I am just going to explain it how you can use the console for solving this and uh, you can subscribe my channel uh, for the more such type of uh, videos so before i start this video you uh, you must know the one thing first that how you can calculate uh, the lift and the drag this is actually a block uh, present uh, given by the peter leo in which uh, you can see that the definition of lift and drag is uh, is almost is a component dependent if you are talking about the force which is uh, perpendicular the force component which is perpendicular which is called a lift and the parallel component is called the drag uh, the idea behind of explaining is that i am going to use this two component because uh, then only i can calculate uh, the interaction between the two, uh, fluid and the solid surface uh, the idea behind of uh, calculating this is actually considering the total stresses forces which is predefined in the console uh, if you go and find the, what is the database here in the console the important thing is think that you are going to integrate on the surface so you can use the surface integration for calculating it and uh, the command is very simple surface integration or you can use any command uh, which in which you can solve the surface integration of the on the surface of uh, any uh, object on which you are going to calculate so body set forces is given this is a basic example and the expression is use spf dot uh, t stress y so it is y is in the component in the y direction and if you are talking about the stress x is the component in the x direction uh, but the problem is that this everything is predefined in the console you can use uh, directly if i go this there is uh, three type of functions is available first is the pressure force spf dot ny mesh so this if you are talking only about the pressure force, you can use this type of function in the viscous you have to use spf k underscore spy this is actually in the y direction and for the total force you can use t here so i am going to use this spf command so that uh, i can uh, consider both pressure forces and the viscous forces so I am not going for the turbulent flow, I am going for the fluid flow without wall functions. So I now directly go to the uh, console. So in the console I have already been uh, constructed a module uh, for you. I have, uh, I just go and explain you that what I have done. So firstly I go to the geometry. I have considered this rectangular geometry. You can see that width is 2.5 meter all in SCI units and uh, height is 0 0.41 meter. So this is corner base position is 0, 0. This point is called the 0, 0 point. And the circle is actually is at 0 0.012 in the center position. This point at the center is uh, 0 0.0, uh, 0 0.2 uh, meter. And <coughs> the sector angle is a complete circle. The radius is only 0 0.05. So what I'm going to use that I'm just uh, considering this circle uh, is actually a solid elastic body and there here is the fluid is flowing from uh, left to right I am just I'm seeing that how the this surface is interacting with the fluid and what kind of the behavior of fluid patterns are uh, now you, you can see on this so before I go further I go back for the definitions which I have used the step 1 function is used from 0 to 1 Gaussian a pulse function is used uh, the located at 1.5 location and the standard deviation taking is 5 standards for minus 2 the two main component which is called the drag and lift is going to be calculated so drag is actually called a uh, integration of this file fsi dot t which I've already been explained you that but this is integration in integration is explained below so this type of integration because I am going to consider the drag and lift forces on the this elastic surface. So I consider that surfaces and integration uh, can be used. Summation nodes uh, over nodes can be used uh, and the order is taken is a 4 and spatial coordinate is been used. So on the body. So function is operator is in top 1. 
so I can use the in top one operator on this function the expression this is uh, drag forces is actually the parallel to x-axis so I will use fsi dot t underscore stress x and similarly lift is is the same but direction is on the y-axis so this is the two uh, variables which is global pro one pro two variable is uh, labels you can write the group variable as per uh, your information you can write anything so this is the pre definitions which we want and now I quickly go for the uh, another the material so two type of material you have to use for first material you have to use for this and second you can have to use for this another part of this so I have uh, chosen this type of material 5.6 uh, Pascal mega Pascal and a new use 0.4 density is this so database is here you can use uh, the material uh, values from here the elastic values you can use here and for the another material you can use air oil water blood glycerin whatever so I have randomly choose uh, database from this and for every database it will give you the different results so if I go back uh, that I have used this material database and the material too I have used I think this is for the water so you can even change a little bit it hardly matters it will give you a different results but you can use any database from this now I have go for the fluid structure interaction module this module is uh, is important to understand when I start with the fluid properties because this surface is actually the fluid second is overridden later on so first you have to select the one or two both and a second will be le le uh, later overridden by this module linear elastic material so fluid properties you know very well you can just select it uh, the model is simple this is a compressible 2.2 mu is uh, used time dependent model is used and the rest thing you have to use from material from material this is a easy way no need to uh, make it user defined go for the from material free deformation uh, it the it, it actually that how the surface will move it it I have taken as initial mesh displacement is zero zero because uh, your mesh is going to be uh, uh, deformed uh, freely should be going to deform freely so you have to use dx dot zero zero and uh, you can see that uh, there is nothing will overridden because on the surface too it's not applicable it's applicable on the fluids only so wall is actually wall one is uh, and wall one is both is fixed wall no slip condition is uh, uh, considered you can use for the slip also it's uh, different results so i fix values zero and prescribed mesh displacement for this because this surface is important so you can uh, use the prescribed for only this surface and just uh, rest will be the overridden later on if you wish to see that which uh, how the fluid surface boundary condition because here the surfaces will be interaction because total eight surfaces are there the first four surfaces is this the uh, for the rectangle and the rest of the four uh, the value is five six seven eight is for this on the body uh, on the surface of the circle which is actually elastic body so you have to go for this one two three just for the uh, values the values are taken is oh, is uh, is zero zero so free uh, I don't want to this because it's not applicable here if I go for the fluid surface interaction so you can see that this is actually the your FSI because here the fluid and surface are interacting so the model is uh, been used uh, is this model and this is the value is the standard you can use it and uh, linear elastic material is actually been used which I already been said that the second is uh, is not actually it should have some different equations so equations are is of elastic material so you can use uh, the equations this is actually a default which actually present in the com so you can just go and select it so initial value is uh, now I go for initial values when you see initial values fluid velocity in between is because it's a time dependent problem you have to choose the initial so everything I've chosen zero 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 we have said about the velocity their displacement field structure velocity field and the pressure everything you can take as a zero 
if if there is any fixed constraint you can use it because you are not want this material to move under the pressure of the fluid so you want this to be fixed so you can use the two as a fixed so you use u is equal to zero so if talking about the uh, point load it's not applicable here so you are not going to be use this type of function you can even disable it because if you go to disable it it, it doesn't harm because it's not applicable next thing is the inlet when we talking about the inlet it's actually a velocity field which is present here so i have chosen this type of equation because step function is used so in order to show the behavior uh, the typical behavior of this fluid you can use this function or even you can try uh, any function because i am taking this as a reference benchmark mo uh, problem in which the model is little bit different i have simplified it for the uh, for explaining purposes uh, thus this type of velocity is used in this paper so you can use it so next is the out outlets the outlet is for this equation is this symbol and you can use pressure zero so this is all the uh, <coughs> inputs you wish to do before doing any calculation so i go for the mesh so this is the uh, physics control mesh even this is actually a coarser one because you are uh, using this as elastic and even the fsi interaction so it may vary so this is the uh, default meshes uh, and even the course if you go for the final one or even extremely final one it will take a time for uh, for the convergence so as per your computer configuration you can use it will give you a sufficient accuracy so time dependent problem is there so you can just go and compute it and after a uh, calculation uh, you can say that this type of uh, database will be performed and output so if you uh, wish to see the variables you can see that this is the float uh, fluid and fsi interaction when you click on the surface one so you can see that there is a little bit interaction is available with this surface and if you go for the contour plot pressure fsi you have to click here you can see that the pressure force is uh, minimum maximum is available here and most important is the lift and drag forces when you click on it so you can see that after 5 to 6 this type of behavior is being uh, calculated and if you uh, go for the the main uh, plot the plot is this that the main fluctuation is is after the two seconds is after near body you can see the one second also but if you combine both the main fluctuation is after two seconds so I am going to uh, take this portion 5 to 6 uh, for uh, for explaining you the behavior so animation is being performed in player 1 in the player 1 this type of uh, module is now performed if you wish to check the output yeah this will be the output so you can see it yes so this is the interaction between the fluid flow and a solid surface so 10 to 20 frames you can check and you can see that how the behavior is being performed so this is so this is all about uh, explaining the fluid surface interaction this is actually a simple uh, problem uh, you can uh, do your own inputs to make it complicated and you can check this type console can do the calculation but important thing is that it may take a time because uh, mesh will be performed by the console and fm is been applicable so you can use it for your respective problem fsi and any other problem module so this in this video i'm just going to explain the fluid surface interaction module so thank you thank you very much if you like this video you can go and subscribe for my channel for other upcoming videos have a nice day